Chad, are you ready to go? I think so. We're just gonna have to put on our raincoats and galoshes and... <laughs> Whenever we leave the house, it's my job while Chad is walking up, it's my job to come over here and call for the elevator. for a change to have it well, rain. I know, I gotta get it on. It was these. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now let's get cherry this time. Thank you, many but you had on that. You ready? More, more, more. <laughs> Oh, well, more, more, more. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just take what you want. <laughs> it's going to take all my driving skills today. This is my job here, is to open up the garage door let us out. Oh, and watch for the uh, cars <laughs> coming up the street and the people. And my job is to get us out without hitting the sides of the door. Yep. Edges of the car. Yep. Yeah, too, too many people out in the rain. No, it's day. pretty quiet this morning. Yeah, it looks really good. It's Saturday today. Anytime that we get a chance to leave the city and go out into the country, I just love it. Today we are going to, and I'm going to let Chad say it. Subayat Subo Pizza. Subo Pizza. Subo. Oh, look. Right there. Subo Pizza. We're just uh, up here uh, going to a, uh, a food distribution event where. Latter-day Saint Charities has donated some food as part of a project of the 50 years that uh, the church is celebrating here in uh, Serbia. Yeah, we got in on the tail end of that celebration when we got here. And really a fun, fun time to be here. I'll leave a clip of, of a couple that we went to and it was pretty cute. In fact, most of the projects that we do are not in conjunction with the local church members in the church here. It, this just happens to be a unique one because we are celebrating the 50th anniversary in Serbia. We don't speak a bit of Serbian other than like three words and they don't speak English and we love them and they love us and we just smile on each other here. Tako dobro, ovako nikada nisam ovaj komunicirala. 
Oh, my. <laughs> uh, translator or another couple should be added. Uh, yeah, we have missionaries coming. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I think we said before that we uh, drove north of Beograd to a town called uh, Subotitsa. And it's right there on the, uh, it's two and a half, two, two hours, two hours north of Beograd, right there on the border of Hungary. And we went there and we saw or visited one of the uh, uh, organizations that we worked with in conjunction with the 50 year celebration of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints being established in uh, Serbia and the old Yugoslavia. And part of that celebration is the district within Serbia, the church, wanted to do something to help celebrate that milestone. And, and what they decided, and it was all started before we got here, but they decided they wanted to uh, get a bunch of food donated in conjunction with the Latter-day Saint Charities, which we are representing, and that's our mission, is we represent that charity and so they donated a bunch of food to the Red Cross, uh, Caritas, and a bunch of these other organizations. So we went to Somotica today to see them and visit with them as they started to distribute some of the food that, well, so yeah, some of the food that they received. And the organization is uh, the House Under the Rainbow, and they're an organization that specializes in and care and, and working with children uh, that are autistic and so it was a, a real delight to get to know the youth to get to know some of the kids and to work with them hand in hand and you know they, they're just very very friendly and uh, putting together some of these uh, food packages and as we after we were done with that they they fed us pizza and we and again with that much time we were able to get to know each other and, and really uh, develop a, a quick bond with them. and when we were finished they wanted to take us out to a an equestrian center just about uh, and, and excuse me but three or four miles <laughs> outside of Sobotisa, which is really, literally, right on the border. I was a little nervous that we we're going to have to cross through the border and come back into the Aquarian Center, but yeah, no, we, we never left Serbia, so we're okay there. Yeah. <laughs> but it's right there on the border. And this equestrian center has been around for a lot of years. They started off with like six horses, and over the years they've raised and developed the place, and now they've got over 70 horses. But they've gotten to know this uh, organization, the House Under the Rainbow, that works with autistic children, and have developed a really good relationship with them, where they have these children and youth come to the equestrian center for therapy. And it, they, it really calms them, it really you know, kind of relaxes them and, and allows them to really feel happy and joyful and, and just it, it relieves them of their stress and anxiety. And so it's kind of a neat thing to go there and actually see the whole thing in action. The, the equestrian center does this out of the, yeah, their generosity. It's, it's kind of their donation to this organization. Uh, this equestrian center, it's huge. It's, it's really big and it's very, very nice. So it was really fun to get to know these people today. This is a really good cause. Yeah, a real good opportunity for us to uh, help them and, and to uh, just be a, a part of this organization that's doing a lot of good work for uh, the, you know people in need. So anyway, thanks for coming along with us on this day, and we will bring you on another day with us. Yep. Take care.